It's a great question to think about how soon we have to start thinking differently. <laughs> well, you know, if you think about the scientific projections of sea level rise, they all start with sort of a slow curve. We've already, you know, had sea level rise over the last hundred years, seven, eight inches along much of the coast of California, for example. And in all the projections, that curve gets steeper and steeper and steeper. In other words, it's going faster. So I, I call this time right now, it's the luxury time. It's the luxury of being on the slow end of an exponential curve. But that may change very soon and will increasingly get, get be faster and faster. So now is the time to think about it and to start to put different mechanisms, different mindsets in place so that we then can address these challenges um, when they become much more uh, urgent. It's very risky for organizations to try something new with information that not everybody agrees is good or okay. Because if they screw up, or if something fails, or let's say they invest millions of dollars in a new reservoir system and it's not needed and kids go hungry or something, um, there's a real danger that you'll look like a fool, you'll lose your job. So there's this sort of inherent con conservatism that's built into our institutional structures that really, um, really disincentivize people from taking any kind of outside the box thinking, which I do think that we're going to need to do with climate change because it's so interconnected. It won't be just enough for water managers to manage climate change. They're going to have to be involved with the transportation people. They're going to have to be involved with the housing people. They're going to have to be involved with the agricultural sector. All of those things are connected in ways that our current um, professional organizations really aren't very good um, at um, going across those boundaries. A transportation department, for example. Typically, when a flood takes out a road, the immediate response is to build the road back where it was. An option would be to ask, does this road go anywhere interesting, number one, or two, can we move the road entirely so it has a longer functional life? It's about thinking about the world differently, that, you know, that's not always going to be the view from this hotel. You know, it's going to change over time significantly. It has for the last millennia, and it will. <laughs> um, and that's a big. I think that's a big shift in our culture, right? If we make decisions right now, where to build houses, how to replace our port uh, facilities, and whatnot. Where to build roads, and they're going to be there not just for one year or for three years. They're going to be there for decades. In decades the sea level rise is completely different. So it's a question now in every decision we make, especially those that will have you know, impacts for decades to come, that we build the climate change thinking into our questions and procedures and regulations and, and policies right now. Something, sometimes the things we have now are already not what we love to have. So it's a matter of keeping what we love, improving what's not good, using that adaptation as an, as an opportunity to improve our coastal environments. Mm -hmm.